Well, I thought you'd enjoy a lovely reading of a different ladybird book for adults. This one is entitled The X. Oh, a beautiful picture of a nice married couple. This is Tina with a man she used to call her husband. Tina now calls this man that man. She also calls him the most expensive mistake of my life and other much ruder things. This man is Tina's ex. Cherry tried telephoning Neil but he has blocked her number. Luckily, Neil's employer, the Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service, hasn't blocked her number. <clears throat> At least not yet. The crash test dummy was invented in 1950 by Swedish engineer Ulrika Nordstrom. She modelled it on the likeness of her ex-husband, Vig. Ulrika died in 1989 after a long battle with trying not to laugh. Paul had never met Claire's new husband. Claire has gone to powder her nose and left them alone together. He's taller and younger than me, thinks Paul. Is that how bad I look after a few years with her? Worries Harry. Ah oh well, thinks Martin. At least she left me a packet of cigarettes and a little bicycle made of pipe cleaners. Matthew is troubled that Wynne still has a photo of his ex on the living room wall. Wynne says it's not unreasonable. Most people have a photo of their former partner somewhere. And it's only a metre and a half tall. And if I don't put stamps on it, he'll have to pay at the other end, asks Lucy. That's right, madam, says the man at the counter. Is it a small packet or a parcel? It's his drum kit, smiles Lucy, and his skis. But I'm sending everything separately, so it's 19 parcels in all. With Lydia no longer in his life, Federico is spending some time going through his photo albums from the last 20 years and replacing her face with pictures of things he holds in, a st in higher esteem, like a piece of flint. Norina hopes Alwyn gets a message this time, and pretty soon, because he's worried she might sneeze and give the game away. Since Philip left him, Philip has had far more time with his book, books to tide. <laughs> Philip said Philip didn't understand him. Philip said Philip wouldn't let him. Wouldn't let him understand him. In truth, nobody understands Philip, which is exactly how he likes it. <clears throat> anyway, Daddy says he's looking forward to having you for the weekend, Olivia tells Daisy and Noah. Is it this weekend, asks Daisy. No, says Olivia, it's not for a few months. Daddy's at an important sales conference. It's a very nice boat to have a sales conference on, says Noah, looking at the photo of Daddy with his new friend. This one's a picture of a man using the ejector seat in a jet. Cheryl was surprised by Steve's reaction to her proposal. <laughs> Ed and Natalie have remained friends since separating. And he often socialises with her and her new boyfriend, Zach. The three of them get along very well. And Ed gets to gaze into Natalie's blue eyes just like he used to when she looked at him that same way. In ten years' time, this was, will form the basis of Ed's psychotherapy. Jim, who appears to be flying a microlight, that's emitting some kind of um, fluid. He's convinced that if Hazel can just be reminded of the smell of his aftershave, she'll want him back. 
Her holiday scot cottage is in plain sight. Plenty more fish in the sea, says our viewers' friends. And she was sat there fishing. The sea is 40 miles away. Hugh has not caught a thing. Hugh is perfectly happy. To be honest, he has gone off fish. <laughs> Rocco paid a fortune for the website getdianeback.com, but it failed to get Diane back. So Rocco built a new, Rocco built a new Diane in his shed. This Diane runs on a 100k volt motor and can run most Android apps and will probably not run off with Rocco's brother either. <laughs> Try meant to get off the tube at Liverpool Street but he spotted his ex-girlfriend Jacinda at the other end of the carriage. An hour and a quarter later, he tries not to be spotted. She gets off the train at Chesham. The £85 taxi fare back into London is a small pack price to pay for glancing furtively from a distance and someone you have over 3,000 photos of. Each try. Though they separated some months ago, Ollie and Matt are still partners in the life-saving class they both attend. Matt is good at pretending to be unconscious. He, practices every, he practiced every night for at least a year at the end of that relationship. Astronauts Dee Haldane and Nadia Amikanian were NASA's first astro couple until they fell out on the launch pad and split up 10 minutes after takeoff. To make matters worse, the third astronaut on the mission, Ty Tiger Schlab, has a crush on Nadia. Mission Control has no protocol for this in their flight plan. They have contacted Michelle Obama for advice. <laughs> As part of their divorce, Beth and Angus have carefully divided everything into two, so they both get a fair share of their house. They have not yet talked about the boys. Hasibulla thinks that this, this statue he has made of his ex-girlfriend will win her, back her affections. Even though you've given her enormous lion's feet and smashed her nose off as a friend, it's how I feel about her, says Hasbolo. Is there um, a picture of the Sphinx for some reason? Adam still looks back on the 35 minutes he was probably Laura's boyfriend as the happiest of his life. Three decades later, Adam's mother says it may be time he thought about moving on. And the last but most beautiful one of all, picture of a solitary lighthouse. It's just a trial separation, says Vanessa. And that, my friends, is the story of the ex. Good night, God bless.